Last night at the Game Awards, Microsoft unveiled the new Xbox and it turns out it's not called the Project Scarlet. It's actually called the Xbox Series X, a name you probably can't say five times fast. But the big reveal will have a lot of people scratching their heads like, who is that narrator? What does a new console have to do with dreams? We'll explain all that and much more. Okay, we'll start with the first question on everyone's mind. What does the new Xbox look like? Well, it's definitely a box, but certainly not a cube. It's more like three cubes stacked on top of each other, and so the internet has christened it with a fitting nickname, the X-Tangle. Like a rectangle, not like the earphones you left in your pocket. It's got a disk drive and above it, a little white logo that also serves as the power button. On the top, it's got what looks like a vent or maybe they're just stylish holes. Peeking out from underneath the holes is a light pulsing Xbox green. This will no doubt come as a relief to those who thought that the new Xbox, codenamed Scarlet until today, would be red. But don't worry, it's green. It was released in a short video clip after which Phil Spencer, the Xbox boss, came on stage looking massively underdressed for an awards show and gave a little speech. The trailer begins as a montage of some abstract animated landscapes, the purpose of which is likely to signal that the new Xbox will have sick graphics. Then there's a race car, a little soccer moment, and then of course, Master Chief on the edge of a cliff. The virtual camera zooms out and traps the image in a transparent rectangular prism, which then morphs into the new Xbox. Throughout the whole video, there's some narration behind the images, which seems a little out of place. It starts like this. Let's suppose that you were able to dream any dream you wanted to dream, and that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. And then it goes on to say similar things about life's possibility and dreams. It's pretty much a semi-intellectual version of Aerosmith's Dream On. The guy talking is Alan Watts, a philosopher who's famous for taking so-called Eastern religions and repurposing their teachings for secular Western audiences. In other words, he's a walking college dorm room poster. The narration in the Xbox ad is a speech of his called The Dream of Life. Unfortunately though, Microsoft has edited out some of the best lines, which is understandable. Although it would be cool if they revealed the new Xbox by saying that life implies death, or shall I say, death implies life. After the grand montage, Phil Spencer took the stage and said a few predictable things about how the Xbox Series X will be better than the Xbox One in every way, how it will raise the console bar, etc. The presentation was light on specifics, but Spencer did tell GameSpot that the new controller will have a share button and the big, tall Series X can also rest on its side. On a more interesting note, the Series X also got its first launch title, which will presumably be an exclusive. The game is called Senwa's Saga Hellblade 2, and it's a sequel to a game from two years ago that was universally acclaimed. IGN called it a beautiful, dark, tense visual novel, and a masterclass of atmosphere, storytelling, and the marriage of mechanical and conceptual design. It's a story-driven game that situates you in Senua's head by distorting the world and talking to you through countless inner voices. It is a stressful but worthwhile experience. The new one looks like it'll be taking the success of the first and turning it up to 11. Senua looks much less innocent, chanting in a freaky deep voice with some witchy Norse runes tattooed all over her face. Having only watched a trailer, I can already tell this will be making an appearance in my dreams. Which is fitting, considering the slogan for the new Xbox is, power your dreams. The new Hellbound is apparently being developed specifically to show off the strengths of the new console so it'll probably be larger in scope than the first game. The trailer seems to confirm this. It looks like Senua has an occult army under her command, as well as a giant slash mountain. Despite what the internet might have you believe, that event last night wasn't just a Microsoft press conference. It was the Game Awards. So a bunch of games were given awards. Their game of the year went to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, the unforgiving samurai game that is by no means accessible, but definitely deserving of the award. The PS5 was not announced, but its first exclusive game was. It's called Godfall, and it's a three-player co-op game where you play as one of three extravagantly armored gods who loot and slash their way through a world. We don't know anything about the world of the game other than the fact that it's ending. As one of the shiny god things says in the trailer, a thousand year war, 
just to start an apocalypse? What is certain is that those suits of armor and the light that reflects off of their many parts will be perfect for showing off the PS5's power. What do you think of the new rectangular Xbox? Is it everything you wished for, or is it even more? Let us know what you think of the console and its upcoming games in the comments, and if you like staying updated, subscribe to The Gamer.